The large gas tanks behind the apartments are one issue. These meters in front of the apartments are a separate issue. One resident who chose not to go on camera said that she can often smell and taste gas in her apartment because she says these meters are also leaking. Everbank Stadium is just another step closer to potentially going under renovation. An agreement has been made between Mayor Donna Deegan and the Jags in terms of the stadium negotiation. But what's next is how City Council will determine if they approve and how your tax dollars will play a role in these renovations. To see what those City Council leaders think, head to our website, firstcoastnews.com. Claire Alfrey, First Coast News, on your side. Hey, good morning, Lou. So I caught up, like you said, with the city's emergency preparedness division, and we go over three easy things that you can do right now to check off your list before the next major storm arrives. Number one, you want to start building that emergency kit. That includes your flashlights, your batteries, that first aid kit. And then second, you need to come up with an evacuation plan with your family, which goes into my third point, which is knowing your evacuation zone. So I talked to Andre Ayub. He's the director of the Emergency Preparedness Division, and he can't stress it enough. Don't wait till the last minute. And the question that has yet to be answered, who won? Well, that person has 180 days to claim the money and another 90 days after that to remain anonymous before their identity is revealed. In Neptune Beach, Taylor Levesque, First Coast News, on your side. Anthony Sheriff Waters plans to discuss new public safety plans as well as how he plans to lay out the additional money set aside for him in Mayor Donna Deegan's budget. Now that budget includes an additional $7.8 million for the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office for 40 additional officers as well as 18 civilian jobs, jobs ranging from media specialists to other administrative roles. It also includes 66 new vehicles and $3 million in improvements to the police memorial building. Now, Sheriff Waters is expected to speak directly with us after tonight's town hall. We have reached out to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office to see if people in attendance will be able to ask questions Questions. We're waiting to hear back on that again. Doors open here at six o'clock. Tonight's town hall is expected to start at 630. We also plan to speak with people in attendance tonight as well. Reporting live outside the Prime Osborne Center, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side. Well, we made our way out to Kona Skate Park, and it's all because of the 2024 Paris Olympics. This morning, we got a chance to speak to some of the experts when it comes to breakdancing. That's the newest thing added up into the events in the Olympics, as well as skateboarding for the second time around. This is pretty incredible because a lot of fans say that this was needed for quite some time. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says a woman in her 50s is in critical condition after she was found shot at this fire station behind me. It believe it's possible she was shot at a different location but dropped off here. I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side. On that list, of course, the first time, and we were looking at just how much meat they're cooking here. More than 30,000 pounds over today yesterday and tomorrow. So I mean, that is a lot of meat. But if you come in this way, this is the entrance. This is what it looks like. We've got all of the barbecue over here. Over on the stage, they're going to be doing a demo. We know this is a really big thing because they're going to be giving the secrets. And that is always what people always mention in the first Christmas movies is that there's a secret recipe. We're going to try some of it right now. We'll let you know how this goes. Oh yeah, that's really good. Definitely worth it. Little messy, totally worth it. But live here in Jacksonville, we're going to do Regorio First Coast News on your side. Now, Dr. White mentioned that he actually has some researchers at JU that are looking at a type of coral that can better handle uh, coral bleaching in warmer water. So as we're seeing that coral die off, you have people who care that are working to try and replenish it, that natural wonder of the world. In Atlantic Beach, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News on your side. Yeah, Anthony, East Side is considered one of the areas in Jacksonville that is the hottest. And I brought out with me a temperature gauge because I wanted to see just how hot the concrete gets. Now, this concrete exposed, no shade. Taking a look at the reading, about 99 degrees. But over on my left, we have some shaded sidewalks, and those are down to about 90, 91 degrees. So that's almost a 10 degree difference just by adding shade. 
Well, it all started with a controversial new approach to teaching African-American history in Florida, including the claim that people benefited from slavery. Now, you'll remember the issue brought the vice president to Jacksonville last week, and it continues to be the big story out of Florida this week. The same issue has also led to infighting among local Democratic lawmakers. Phase one of the Emerald Trail is finally open. If you want to test it out for yourself, join them here for their ribbon cutting at the Prime Osborne Convention Center at 10 a.m. Reporting in Jacksonville, Claire Alfrey, First Coast News, on your side. That's what I'm talking about, Lou. Yes, we are on the USS George Washington flight deck. We're surrounded by jets and helicopters, and soon thousands of crew members are about to travel to the other side of the world. Lou, they're going to Japan. Now think of the Mayport Naval Station as a checkpoint for crew members. The USS George Washington is supposed to go to Brazil, Chile, and Peru. Now more than 3,000 sailors will travel the southern seas for a few months as part of their 2024 deployment. They'll also have the opportunity to showcase this aircraft carrier to allied nations. And this is the third deployment for George Washington. Officials say their sailors will get to see the world. Well, you survived another hot one here on the first coast. Can you do it again? You're going to have to near triple digit heat index values again.